I'm R.C. Bridges from Quinlan, Texas, and I'm better known as the Buffalo Whisperer, and we have a pet buffalo named Wild Thing. Hey, Wild Thing. That's you. Okay, pages. Hey, look here. Here. It's been a while back, hasn't it, huh? Uh, the, well, just having a unique animal, it, you know, a pet buffalo. I always wanted to train one. We had 52 heads, but I lost my left eye, and we had to sell the herd to have my eye replaced. And uh, we kept wild thing, actually, for my boy to train. And uh, because if I got my eye bumped, I had to buy I'd get another eye. And uh, my boy backed out on me after about two weeks. He said, Daddy, I can't take it anymore because Wild Thing was kicking us and horning us all the time. And he was only a baby then. It's, it seems just like an everyday deal to me now. Now, when I started, it was different, but now it's just part of our life. He's, he's no more different than having the wolves in the house. I spend more time with wild thing than I do my wife. <laughs> the only reason I was able to train wild thing, I had uh, I had run cattle ranches in my life. I've lived on nine different ranches. I've been mostly a horse trainer all my life, but uh, because of working with mustangs and you know wild horses, I worked with uh, a lot of wild cattle and train them to, you know, for leading, for showing. And uh, if I hadn't done that, I'd been a rodeo clown. If I hadn't done all of them things, I probably couldn't have trained a buffalo. The people that don't know me think I'm crazy, and the people that do know me know I'm crazy. 